to the finals of this King of the Hill online qualifier final game right now between CR, WGG, Casters, Lemon, Kiwi, and Shifty doing the work for you guys. Shifty, who are you looking at jumping on board with? To be honest, I want to hop on board with Modi. That guy is the man. So, mm -hmm. especially on a map like this, um, you know, it's going to be difficult for him to hold it down with a bow. So I'd really like to see how he does on a very uh, small map with a very sub-dominated. But uh, CR coming out to break melt with a huge three-piece. Modi able to tag him up through the wall and take out that kill. So, obviously very scrappy uh, in the first little bit. CR getting some immediate control, though. And I liked where Modi was sitting as well. A pretty good power position for Bal to sit on the school steps. As it's looking like CR got a pretty nice early lead on this first hill. It's about 14 to 2. So about 20 seconds left on the hill. Let's see if WGG can actually come back. Maybe put some more points on the board here. Yeah, real and truly WGG just needs to give up this middle hill and again to rotate to green however it seems that they're still trying to fight for a little bit of scrap time not a good play in my opinion as Melt is the man right now 7-2 and two on a 2 kill streak right now Striker, Squid in the track bringing up the rear uh, Squid however going big in the hill right there NCR also getting the early rotation so WGG really needs to come out uh, swinging here uh, and help break down this green hill because to, in my opinion they should have rotated a long time ago you're right, CR on the hill, on board with Mel, picked up a player back there that was Toons, rocking the ASM, he is going to be tagged up, I think that was Modi who got the kill, and now WGG are going to be able to jump on the hill, still on board with Modi, picks up his third kill there, nice two-piece by him, now just has to wait for his teammates to pick up a kill, and his teammates are going to be cleaning some CR players up from that green street, but... Good plays by WGG to finally get some points on the board here, but still 47 to 16, CR in the lead. Yeah, really, CR just doing a great job of trading, trading, not training. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> trading kills and getting into this green area. Track going to be in the hill with Striker. Toon's going to try and break. However, the scrap time will still go in favor of CR. 59 to 18 as we rotate to Garage Modi with a huge two piece. He will drop, however, to the AR of a track as a track now NCR trying to get control of this back spawn area. Yeah, obviously, spawns being influenced are so important for um, especially a hard point like this, a very small um, in garage where you can uh, hold down a lot of time if you really do a good job of slaying out in the spawn. CR up by about 40 points, 30 seconds left in this hill, really and truly WGG not coming out very hot. CR did have the early rotations here, and WGG was trying to break, unfortunately, not being able to do much here. Squid is going to be contested by two players from Ramp. It is going to be Modi and Friend trying to contest the hill. Now, Frame is going to be your hill player. Picks up one. Not going to be contested by anybody here, but now WGG finally stacking the hill as much as they can, as it is only about a 40-point deficit, so not too much of a danger zone there, but CR trying to contest as much as they can. Squid with a huge two-piece for his team. Now going to be getting some scrap time as we go over to the yellow heart. Point. Yeah, you know something that we uh, we saw WGG struggle with in all of the matches so far, even the last semifinal um, against uh, Flex. Flex really out-rotated them every time, but WGG was just simply relying on the slaying power to help break the hill. But against a team like CR, you can't do that. When CR will slay out and make you punished for plays like that, Sacrifice trying for the three-piece, going to drop Striker with a two-piece of his own. Modi not able, or able to stop the two and try and answer with the third, but not going to happen. That would be Squid taking that one out. So still, CR really demolishing them about a 60 point point lead with about 20 seconds left on this yellow hard point. Sacrifice with a huge two piece there. I'm going to be sitting on the hill with Frame and Toons. Just has to watch for these players coming at the back and he is going to be cleaned up as well. Frame trying to pick up some kills here. Huge two piece but gets cleaned up by Melt. Modi there to pick up a track. And now CR is actually going to be Melt sitting on the hill and Sacrifice is going to be able to clean him up as players are still fighting for the scrap time. Only a couple seconds left. Both teams abandoned the scrap time and are heading to the school area. Looking like WGG is going to be most likely set up but CR are going to be pushing all the four players towards, I think this is the locker side, and they are going to be cleaned up, but it's looking like they're getting control back once again. 
Yeah, well, really great job by WGG so far of trying to control this school area. He's got some players pushing in from fire. They need to be cautious of that. Actually going to be picked up by some great plays. Uh, great kills there from Sacrifice. As now CR going to try and pick up some entry kills. Mm. Toons picking up two kills there. Going to pick up the ASM1. Get some more ammo into his back pocket there. As uh, he's trying to help out with his team. Not going to be answered uh, with another two-piece there. Trying. Not going to happen. As CR now going to push in and have control of this school area for the scrap time about 15 seconds before we rotate into this second uh, into the second rotation and three players going down for WGG they're trying to respawn and maybe go for a little bit more scrap time looking like they're just setting up for the next middle hard point once again but WGG had put up a quite some good time there on the school area but CR just in, in a they're in a pretty nice lead I think this is about a 50 point lead if my math is correct and Toons is going to be your hill player once again so hopefully on the second rotation of hills WGG can put some more points on the board here, but some pretty, some pretty good time considering this is a scrappy hill as Frame is going to be picking up some nice kills in the middle and Toons is still sitting pretty. Actually, he gets taken out, but good time for WGG nonetheless. Yeah, really great time for WGG and really and truly they're showing some life now as they were down by about 70 points. Now coming back only down by about 30 with great control of this middle area so frame going to be inside of the hill kind of playing the hi obj role as tunes picking up two kills around the outside melt and a track picking up two of their own on the opposite side as cr now going to finally push in really and truly that's a little too little too late in my opinion with about uh 10 seconds breaking in for just the scrap time as wgg actually going to full rotate and uh, have the initial control of this green hill WGG doing a good job getting early rotations here on the green. They got their anchor and their spawn. It's going pretty well as now Frame is going to be your hill player. He is going to be contesting. The players are going to be called out in this back area, but not going to be contested so far. His teammates doing a good job of dominating the kill feed. Still on board Frame. Spots his player in this pack hallway. Finally cleans him up. That is Striker. He is going to be cleaned up by Squid. And now CR finally showing a little bit of life here as it looks like the comeback was real by WGG as they were down by about 50 points earlier and now it's only about a 10 point lead and actually decreasing so it's almost going to be a tie game if WGG stays on this hill. Yeah really and truly WGG has now taken the lead phenomenal control being shown by them to uh, you know not only break under the pressure of a a pretty high, you know, steep deficit there, but you know, just really sticking to their roots, rotating early, and ensuring that they can pick up some kills. However, now uh, CR going to have the lead by about a point as we rotate into this garage. Hill Striker going to be the first in control for CR as Modi and the rest of WGG may try and break here from this school side. Gonna be on board with Striker. Picks up his third and a fourth kill on Frame and Modi. He's gonna be cleaned up by Sacrifice. A track getting the trade as well. Staying on board with the track, who is gonna be playing your hill player? And all four players are w of WGG are spreading out and trying to attack this hill from different ways. Gonna be on board with Toons. He picks up the kill on a track and a second one there. He is gonna be cleaned up. So only a 20 point deficit. CR taking back the lead from WGG on board with Striker. Picks up his first kill. Unfortunately, is gonna be taken out. Ooh, my melt getting a melee on tunes so this is a pretty big bloodbath for this garage hill only two minutes left 15 seconds left on this hill and oh my god sacrifice with a huge two piece only 10 seconds left on the hill so if he gets his scrap time this game is going to be all tied up and this is going to be a pretty intense game yeah, uh, however, WGG electing to rotate for the Yellow Hill Squid and a track going huge on front. Yellow right now need to pick up these kills in the back. Squid will pick up one. He's got one more right in front of him. That will be Frame. Frame going to try and push in and pick up some huge entry kills here. However, that will not happen. A track's nades too strong. So now a track and the rest of CR going to begin to try and slay out in the front of this hill. To be honest now, CR really starting to pull away a little bit. If you're WGG, you need to get kind of nervous, but don't play desperate. You know, you just need to continue to stick to what they've been doing, breaking these hills together as a team, and that's exactly what's going to happen. As uh, now WGG going to try and get some control here. Some trades flying in all over the place. With a about a 30 second deficit is WGG, as uh, it looks like it will go down to the last hard point. So... Uh, we saw WGG control quite a bit of time on the school hill last time, so maybe, uh, maybe they will be able to pull it out here in the last little bit.
I think I've seen two team kills by WGG as well. They need to be careful of that. It's, it's, this is only a 10-point deficit game. Striker was the first player on CR to get some early rotations. Here he is able to pick up sacrifice from the rotations of the other squad. Frame and Modi picking up some kills as well. This is only a 12-point differential game. As now Mo or, sorry, Modi and friends, WGG squad, are going to have control of the school area. Waiting for the other players to spawn this locker side. They need to be attacking this hill from different locations. As WGG... GG are actually going to be taking the lead. 30 seconds left. I really hope CR can make something happen here. Yeah, for sure. CR getting a little nervous now, trying to play one on one COD. Not a situation you want to be in there, as uh, really and true. Is still not out of this yet, even though CR taking about a three point lead. Trying to break from all sides, both walkers and in middle. Not going to happen. Attract and squid too strong inside of the hill. Striker picking up a kill as well. And now CR, after an incredibly close game, really able to take the lead there. Wow, phenomenal job from CR taking that. Points are actually 16 points on the dot, 232 to 216. CR up 1-0 in this best of five as we move on to map number two, which will be S and D on solar. And a 40 bomb by sacrifice. Oh my goodness! And melt with the 38 bomb as well and 13 captures. So the objective player once again doing really good in the slaying department. But CR had a really strong lead at the beginning. I think we saw about 50 points. And then WGG started the lead started shifting back and forth. And then finally CR are able to close out the win. And just looking at the scoreboard, 37 kills Modi and sacrifice with 43 and melt and. Melt and Striker, I know, Melt and Attract also, 38 and 37. So this was a pretty tight matchup, but getting closer to the end, but heading into the, I think it's the second map. This is Search and Destroy, so maybe the momentum will shift a little bit slower, hopefully, but I don't, couldn't even predict who's going to take it.